Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm using my GoPro now, so I can't see if I'm in the field of view. I really should be though. Um, I double checked multiple things. Anyways, using my GoPro for this because I wanted to do the whole spinny wheel thing to pick the winner of the Sergeant Sauce V2. Um, I kept wanting to make another video uh, kind of stating when I'm gonna announce the winner. I just kept getting busy. Here I am making the video where I'm going to announce the winner. <laughs> I could wait a little bit while longer, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I've already made a post on Facebook saying, you know, if you want to enter, go to this link and enter. Um, I think everyone who had talked about it has entered, so not a big deal. I have... Uh, one, two... One, two, three, four, five, I think 11 entries. Um, so if you didn't enter, snooze, you lose sort of thing. Um, however, at the same time, I'm going to do another two giveaways for these other sauces that we'll talk about here in a little minute, in a minute after I announce the giveaway of the Sergeant Sauce V2. Now, I can look at the back screen on my GoPro and I'm curious, curious how this shows up. Yeah, shows up pretty good. Now, if you guys are curious and you don't know already, and you're just kind of checking in this video, um, the Sergeant Sauce V2 is obviously a version 2 of my original Sergeant Sauce. Um, and really the only thing that changed is that I replaced the 16, the, the other recipe had 16% habaneros by weight. This sauce has 11% Naga Vipers by weight. It's a very pretty dang spicy pepper. Um, it definitely knocked the sauce up a couple notches. One of the other changes was is I, uh, I used regular garlic instead of roasted garlic. Kind of kicking myself, wish I'd used roasted garlic. I think the flavor would be a little bit better, but Overall, it doesn't have a bad flavor because I didn't use roasted garlic. It's just a little less full of a flavor, we'll call it. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, I enjoyed making this sauce. And $1 from each sale will go to the 22 Mohawks. Got the logo there. Might be kind of difficult to see on the camera, but um, uh, they're a veteran suicide awareness uh, organization. Um, and that's partially supported, well, mostly supported through Sergeant Dunn. So I'm personally not donating the money. Um, it's also going to be sold on the LateForWorkYouTube.com website. However, I don't know if Jason is going to directly uh, donate the money either. Uh, either way, the money, the dollar per bottle will get to Floyd or will get to 22 Mohawks one way or another. Either, any way it happens, it's going to happen. So, anyways... Let's go ahead and uh, spin the wheel. See who's gonna win. Winner, winner, winner. Oh, Flamin' Jackson. Man, that was, that was like right on the line there. All right, Jackson Collins, I believe your name. I will get in touch with you. We're friends on Facebook, so not, it won't be a problem, but um, yeah, cool. But yeah, I'll get a hold of you. Hey, Oliver, what's up? Come here. You wanna say hi to everybody? Come here, buddy. Oh. Oliver says hi. You're a little stiff right now. He's looking for snacks. He doesn't want to be in here. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I had mentioned that I had been debating making the original sauce also, mostly because after I tried this sauce and found out how hot it is, because I didn't do too small of a test batch. Uh, in total, if you guys are curious of the version two, there's uh, 36 bottles out there. 12 will be to on sergeantdunnbeefjerky.com and 24 of them 
Well, Jason's probably going to keep one for himself. Maybe Floyd, too. I didn't make very many extras for samples. Um, and I kind of spaced it and didn't send Jason or Floyd one as an extra. So, um, anyways, I uh, just saw some random cats out there. But, <laughs> uh, anyways, getting distracted from my neighbors. Uh, so... Yep, there'll be approximately two cases on Jason's site and a case on Floyd's site. And like I was just saying, I was thinking about making the version one, and I did. So uh, last night I grabbed some habaneros, um, and this morning I picked up some other ingredients. Version one, it is identical to the to the original. The only minor change, so this does have roasted garlic in it. The only minor change that may have come from this one is I believe I may not have used full flavor uh, molasses and uh, the first go around but this one does I can't really remember and I didn't have a bottle of the original on hand to do a taste comparison either way this tastes just as great as I remember it's got a decent consistency to it pureed very well there are some seeds in there um, that's just uh, the way this sauce works. I, didn't, I don't strain seeds or anything with my sauces. so. Um, but I do cook it down pretty well and try to, try to puree it up as best as I can. So I'm not going to crack this one open. This is one of my tester bottles, but um, I'm not going to crack this one open right now. But uh, anyways, so I have yet to talk to Jason specifically about this sauce uh, or Floyd necessarily other than mentioning that I may or may not make some this weekend. Yeah. Um, I think both of them are going to want to carry it on their site. Um, so same deal. I made the same batch. Three cases. I've got some extra. We're going to do a giveaway or two possibly. I, I might give two bottles of this away. Um, I'm still debating. <laughs> So yeah, one case to Floyd, two case to Jason. That's most likely how it's gonna go. Um, yeah, so I guess, I'm already seven and a half minutes in, geez. If you guys wanna get entered to win um, the Sergeant Sauce V1 giveaway, down below, um, just, I, I kinda wanna like, keep it fun or whatever, but just put veteran in the comment if you if you want to get entered with this bottle of sauce or whatever and uh yeah so i don't have labels for them yet it'll be the identical label other than i need to change out uh this portion here where it's got the new sergeant dunn logo and the uh 22 mohawk stuff on there but otherwise it'll be the same same uh same label also because i don't want this video to go too long um excuse me I just had fajitas like not 30 minutes ago and I used some of the sergeant sauce original on there super good like very very good I, I forgot how much I liked that sauce and I'm not just saying that because I made it but I think originally we had sold to raise funds for uh, the DAV um, I think we went through 9 or 10 cases can't really remember exactly but anyways I'd also teased that because um, I've been picking raspberries and also kind of talking about the sticky stinger sauce someone brought up and I'm gonna have to go find through the Facebook comments because whoever it was I owe you a sauce I don't I think I might remember who it was but uh, I don't want to say any names just in case I'm wrong so Anyways, I've been talking about Sick Stinger, and I have a raspberry patch, and I've been posting pictures of picking raspberries, and someone said, maybe I should make a raspberry sticky stinger, or somewhere along those lines. And uh, I thought, you know, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. And so I thought about it some more, I thought about it some more. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to approach it, but I was already making a sauce today. I thought... Why not keep myself busy? Let's make two sauces at the same time. So I kind of staggered them a little bit. I started one, 
did some other stuff and then started the other one kind of halfway through. And what we ended up with is Raz Stinger. I'm gonna call it Raz Stinger. I think if you guys have any other better names, I haven't done labels or anything. If you can think of any other better names for the Raspberry Sticky Stinger, um, I just don't want all of that on the label. So I think I might just, because it says Sticky Stinger on the label, I might just do Raz Stinger. And I'm gonna change up the color palette to be more like pinks and, and reds and maybe purples on the, the label. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put like a little raspberry on the end of the bee stinger. But uh, anyways, so it's got a decent consistency to it, a little thinner than the original sergeant sauce, but yeah, so it's it's got a decent bit to it. Um, what changed between sticky stinger and raz stinger would be um, the fact that I obviously put raspberries in it. And I didn't want to have too much overpowering sweetness to it. So I uh, cut back the amount of honey I put in there initially by the weight of raspberries that I was putting in. Then I decided I needed more raspberries in there. So that it, anyways, cut back the honey, added raspberries, cut back the vinegar and added lemon juice. And I cut out the cumin because I didn't think the cumin was going to be... Uh, wise to put in here and I'm glad I did um, so th those are the main things uh, so I'll mess with the label and stuff like that uh, I'll also have to do a new nutrition facts on there or whatever but um, it's very good it, uh, it doesn't really have what I would call a savory note to it it's not like a sweet savory sauce it is basically a sweet sauce um, a little tangy um, I'm gonna apologize to Kim ahead of time because there might be a little texture issue for you, which hopefully you at least try it because I think you would at least like the flavor. Uh, but I totally understand if it's not, you're not a huge fan of it. And the texture would come from raspberries have a ton of little tiny seeds in there. And there's just, you're going to feel the sauce for sure when you, when you eat it slash drink it. Um, it's totally chuggable. I could chug a bottle of this, no problem. But this is one of my good bottles, sellable bottles. I just obviously don't have labels yet, so... Um, what was I going to do for the giveaway on this one? I was going to say, oh yeah, down below in the comments. So same time guys, veteran for this sauce, for this one, tell me what your favorite pie is. Uh, let's be more specific. What's your favorite fruit pie? Um, so there's cream pies and stuff like that too. But, um, yeah, what's your favorite fruit pie? Um, cause I know this sauce is going to go great on, you know, crisp cobbler, pies, cheesecake, um, all sorts of desserts, ice cream. It's going to be fantastic on ice cream. Uh, there is a little vinegar note to it for sure. At least to me, you know, it's not an overpowering vinegar note, but you can tell there's vinegar in here. So sometimes too much vinegar equals not a great ice cream sauce, at least in my opinion. Uh, but, but yeah, so this is good. Um, I'm not tasting any of them right at this second. Um, I might do a, like a personal review on it later. Um, but for this, I'm thinking there's only 24 bottles available. Um, the reason being is I have, I think, technically, I've got 20, or, or is it 30? 30 bottles available? I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. I think I made 30 bottles. So I've got that other case. No, did I make 36? But I'm keeping six of them for, I'm, well, I'm keeping six bottles for sure. Either way it works out. So there's, <laughs> I already forgot how many I made. I didn't make more than three cases. There's almost three cases. And the last bottle was like super thick. Cause like when you get to the bottom of a pan and more heats there and you kind of try to uh, manage the heat but you you want to hot fill bottles so you want the heat to be at least be at a certain point i won't bore you with too much of that but uh yeah so towards the bottom sometimes it gets a little thicker so i usually keep the final three four bottles of a batch uh sort of deal for for my own use or whatever they'll be a little bit thicker but this is the consistency that you guys can expect if you can kind of see the bubble going back and forth there um but yeah uh, again, if you want to get entered to win Sergeant Sauce, 
original. Just type veteran down in the comment. If you want to get entered to win Raz Stinger, let me know what your favorite fruit pie is. Uh, I'll probably get labels kind of wrapped up this weekend, probably. Um, and then next week, sometimes print, sometimes print them. Uh, this sauce, I, I don't think Floyd wants to carry it. I didn't talk to him about it, but this isn't, this isn't a collab, like, quote, collaboration with Floyd. Um, but I think Jason is going to want to carry this site, or this sauce. Uh, so, uh, Jason from Late for Work, if you guys aren't familiar, Late for Work is a YouTube channel. Go over there, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, yeah. You can expect to see this on Jason's site, I think. I don't know a price. Um, this will probably be at $9.00. Uh, this is going to be at $9.00. Um, and remember, a dollar of each of those is going to uh, 22 Mohawks. Um, since this is a limited batch, I'm not making any more this summer. Uh, maybe if I really get a big push to make more, I might go buy raspberries. But the whole thing behind this is that these raspberries came from my raspberry patch. So um, it's kind of neat to kind of keep it as maybe a limited sauce, make it once a year sort of thing. Uh, if our raspberry patch gets bigger next year, maybe I can make four cases. Um, I probably could have made more this year, uh, but, but I wanted to leave some for like random desserts that we want to make. And um, I think we ended up with a little over 200 ounces of raspberries. Not a huge patch, but decent amount of raspberries. And I used, I think... 40 about 45 ounces if not closer to 50 for this so i didn't want to use any more uh my wife's mom might make some jams and stuff with it so anyways yeah this is what we got at least 24 bottles are, of this are going to be available and uh yeah, i guess i don't really know what to say man even just holding this i'm looking at it <laughs> i want some more of it so i think i'm probably going to have some of this on ice cream tonight Maybe I'll shoot a quick video and upload that later, but I really wanted to get this video out. Say thanks for showing all your guys' support and pushing me to make more sauce in general and just kind of being out there. Uh, Jason Pettibone from Late for Work, he's been a big, big supporter. Um, we've got a couple others, like mostly uh, Heat My Shorts and Sergeant Dunn, but uh, yeah. Also, just stay tuned. Who knows what else I'm going to be kind of messing with. Oh, if you guys are curious about the actual sticky stinger sauce, scheduling has still continued to be difficult. Um, I think what's going to happen is probably going to make a small batch of it instead of making my 330 bottle batch. Um, I'm going to be probably making it out of home instead of in the commercial kitchen. There's a lot that goes into what's going on with that, but yeah, there's there's been some complications trying to get it squeezed in with uh, with uh, me and my buddy's schedule, we'll call it, and uh, yeah, there's no hard feelings, nothing like that. It's just, you know, I kind of want to get it out to you guys. Uh, nobody's really putting a bunch of pressure on me, but I'm putting more pressure on myself, I think, than anything. Um, but it's at this time it's undetermined when I will be able to get into the commercial kitchen to do this. So, um, and the the big push to go into the commercial kitchen for me to do it is so I can make the gigantic 330 bottle batch. Well, to me it's gigantic, but um, otherwise I'll probably make like a four or five case batch, maybe six. Uh, don't know if I can fit six in the pot that I have at home, but um, anyways. That's what I'm working with. Thanks again for stopping by. Rock on. And again, if you're sticking around till the very end of this and you haven't entered for these other two giveaways, veteran, just got to enter that in the comments, and favorite fruit pie to get in to this giveaway. Thanks to everybody who entered in the last one. Flaming Jackson, I'll get a hold of you. See you guys later. Uh, have a good evening.